welcome to a journey through time, a journey that will take us back to the very origins of the technology that has reshaped our world, personal computers. From room-filling machines with blinking lights to sleek devices that fit in our pockets, the evolution of personal computers is a story of innovation, perseverance, and the insatiable human desire to conquer the unknown. In this video, we'll uncover the pivotal moments that have shaped the very fabric of our digital existence. We'll travel through decades of breakthroughs, from the birth of the microcomputer to the age of artificial intelligence and beyond. I'm Vlad from Want to Know, and I invite you to join me as we embark on a captivating exploration of PC history. We'll dive into the minds of visionaries, the buzz of excitement at computer clubs, and the leaps of technology that have brought us to where we are today. From the colossal machines of the 1940s to the sleek devices that sit on our desks and laps today, each chapter in this story has paved the way for the next, each discovery building upon the last. So, buckle up as we journey through time, exploring the birth of microprocessors, the rise of graphical user interfaces, and the countless innovations that have redefined the way we work, play, and connect. Get ready to witness the remarkable evolution of personal computers, a journey that has shaped not only our technology but our world as we know it. Let's dive in. 1940s and 1950s, the birth of computing. Our journey begins in the era of groundbreaking innovation, a time when computers were massive, intricate machines that filled entire rooms. The 1940s and 1950s marked the dawn of digital computing and the birth of concepts that would lay the foundation for the personal computers we know today. During this period, computers were far from the sleek and compact devices we're accustomed to. Machines like ENIAC and UNIVAC I, towering marvels of engineering, used vacuum tubes to perform calculations at speeds that were revolutionary at the time. These early computers weren't just tools, they were milestones in human achievement. Programmers meticulously worked with punch cards to provide instructions to these hulking machines, often dedicating days to setting up calculations that can now be done in a fraction of a second. But the promise of computing was evident. Scientists and engineers saw the potential for these machines to revolutionize fields such as mathematics, physics, and even weather prediction. The early computers may have been limited in processing power, but they opened the door to a new realm of possibilities. As we reflect on the 1940s and 1950s, we're reminded of the pioneers who dared to imagine a future where computers could be accessible to all. Little did they know that their early endeavors would pave the way for the technological marvels we enjoy today. Stay with us as we continue our journey through the history of personal computers, exploring the transformative moments that shape the modern digital landscape. 1960s, the rise of mini computers. As we venture into the 1960s, a new chapter in computing history unfolds. This era marked the rise of mini computers, smaller yet powerful machines that began to make computing more accessible to organizations beyond the giants of academia and research. Leading the charge were computers like the IBM 1620 and the DEC PDP 8. These mini computers were a departure from the room filling behemoths of the past, offering a more manageable size and cost for mid sized organizations. The IBM 1620, for example, found a home in scientific and engineering environments, performing calculations that were crucial to various fields. Meanwhile, the DEC PDP 8 became known as the first successful mini computer, celebrated for its compact design and versatility. These mini computers represented a turning point. They weren't just tools for scientific research, they were tools for businesses, schools, and industries seeking to harness computing power for specific tasks. The 1960s laid the groundwork for a more democratized computing landscape, as the concept of personal computing began to take shape. Stay with us as we continue our journey, delving deeper into the milestones that propelled us toward the personal computers we rely on today. Join us as we uncover the intricate tapestry of computing history, weaving together the stories of innovation and progress that have shaped our digital world. 1970s, the microcomputer revolution. Welcome to the dynamic 1970s, a decade that witnessed a revolution in computing, the birth of the microcomputer. With the introduction of microprocessors, the stage was set for a transformation that would bring computing power to individuals and hobbyists. At the forefront of this revolution was the Altair 8800, a microcomputer kit that captured the imaginations of early enthusiasts. Powered by the Intel 8080 microprocessor, the Altair marked a turning point by making computing accessible on a personal level. What's fascinating is that the Altair didn't come with a built-in operating system. Instead, it sparked the creativity of hobbyists, inspiring them to develop software and programming languages. This open environment was a breeding ground for innovation. 
The microcomputer revolution also led to the founding of the Homebrew Computer Club, a gathering of visionaries and tinkerers who shared ideas, knowledge, and a common passion for pushing the boundaries of what computers could do. The 1970s laid the foundation for the democratization of computing. The Altair 8800 was a harbinger of a future where the power of computation would be at the fingertips of anyone willing to learn. Join us as we delve deeper into this pivotal era, exploring the journey from early microcomputers to the advent of personal computing as we know it today. 1975, Birth of Microsoft and the Homebrew Computer Club As we continue our journey through computing history, we arrive at the pivotal year of 1975. This year witnessed the convergence of innovation and entrepreneurship, giving rise to both Microsoft and the Homebrew Computer Club. It was the Altair 8800 that brought two young minds together, Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Seeing the potential of microcomputers, they seized the opportunity to develop a version of basic programming language for the Altair. Simultaneously, the Homebrew Computer Club was founded, becoming a nucleus for brilliant minds to gather, share ideas, and explore the possibilities of this new computing era. Microsoft's modest beginnings in Albuquerque, New Mexico, marked the start of a company that would play an integral role in the evolution of personal computing. Their commitment to software development helped pave the way for the broader adoption of microcomputers. The collaboration between these early pioneers was instrumental in shaping the landscape of personal computing, and their efforts underscored the significance of community and innovation in this nascent industry. Join us as we continue our exploration of the history of personal computers, discovering the moments and individuals that set the stage for the digital revolution. 1977, Landmark Year for Personal Computers As we journey further into the past, we arrive at the monumental year of 1977, a year that witnessed the introduction of three iconic personal computers, the Commodore PET, the Tandy TRS-80, and the Apple II. The Commodore PET, with its integrated monitor and keyboard, offered a compact design that was suitable for schools and businesses. The Tandy TRS-80, often affectionately referred to as the Trash-80, brought computing to the masses with its affordability. And then there was the Apple II, a game-changer that combined color graphics, sound, and expandability, setting a new standard for personal computers. Designed by Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs, the Apple II became an instant hit. 1977 marked a turning point, with these computers bridging the gap between technology enthusiasts and everyday users. The personal computer was no longer a curiosity, it was becoming a tool that could empower individuals and businesses alike. Join us as we delve deeper into the significance of 1977, uncovering how these machines catalyzed the rapid evolution of personal computing. 1981, IBM PC and the Rise of Compatibility our journey through the history of personal computers takes us to the transformative year of 1981, a year that witnessed the introduction of the IBM PC, a machine that would redefine the computing landscape. The IBM PC was more than just a computer, it was a revolution in compatibility. Unlike its predecessors, it utilized an open architecture that allowed third-party manufacturers to create hardware and software that could run on the same platform. This move set the stage for the IBM Compatible Standard, opening the doors for a multitude of manufacturers to contribute to the personal computer market. It also marked the shift towards an ecosystem where software could be developed once and run across a range of machines. The IBM PC's compatibility-driven approach transformed the computing landscape, making personal computers more accessible to businesses and individuals alike. The concept of IBM Compatible became synonymous with adaptability and choice. As we reflect on the significance of 1981, we see how this pivotal year laid the groundwork for a computing future defined by a rich diversity of hardware and software. Join us as we delve further into the legacy of the IBM PC and explore its enduring impact on the world of personal computing. 1980s, the dawn of graphical user interfaces. As we enter the vibrant 1980s, we step into an era defined by a fundamental shift in how we interact with computers, the dawn of graphical user interfaces, or GUIs. In 1984, Apple introduced the Macintosh, a revolutionary computer featuring a graphical user interface and a mouse. This breakthrough in design brought computing out of the realm of experts and into the hands of the masses. With the Macintosh's intuitive icons and visual metaphors, interacting with computers became more natural. This user-friendly approach ignited a paradigm shift in computing that aimed to make technology accessible to all. Not to be outdone, Microsoft launched Windows in 1985. While initially an add-on to MS-DOS, Windows evolved into a full-fledged graphical environment, bringing GUI elements to IBM-compatible PCs. 
The 1980s witnessed the democratization of computing like never before. GUIs transcended language barriers, empowering users to navigate their computers visually, and setting the stage for a digital revolution that would reshape the world. Join us as we continue our exploration of the 1980s, unearthing how GUIs transformed the computing experience and laid the foundation for the modern personal computer. 1990s, the age of advancements. As we step into the dynamic 1990s, we find ourselves in an era of incredible advancements that would propel personal computing to new heights. This decade marked the rise of faster processors like Intel's Pentium series, which brought a surge of computing power to the masses. Simultaneously, the adoption of CD-ROM drives revolutionized how we interacted with media, from games to educational content. But perhaps the most transformative development of the 90s was the rapid growth of the World Wide Web. The internet opened doors to global communication, e-commerce, and a wealth of information, fundamentally altering the way we lived and worked. Web browsers like Netscape Navigator and Internet Explorer brought the internet to our screens, while operating systems integrated web capabilities, signaling a shift towards a more connected world. As we reflect on the 1990s, we see a decade of innovation that laid the groundwork for the digital age we navigate today. Join us as we delve further into this transformative era, uncovering the technological leaps that brought personal computing to the forefront of our lives. 2000s and beyond, beyond boundaries. As we traverse into the 2000s and beyond, we find ourselves in an era where personal computing continues to evolve, breaking through boundaries and reaching new heights. This era saw the rise of sleek laptops, powerful smartphones, and versatile tablets, devices that blurred the lines between traditional personal computers and portable gadgets. The concept of cloud computing emerged, changing the way we store and access data. Services like Google Drive and Dropbox became integral to our digital lives, enabling us to access our files from anywhere. Artificial intelligence also took center stage, giving birth to virtual assistants like Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant. These AI companions became a part of our daily routines, assisting us with tasks and answering our questions. The 2000s and beyond represent an era of interconnectedness, where personal computing is seamlessly integrated into our lives, from work to entertainment to communication. Join us as we explore this era of endless possibilities, diving into the technologies that continue to shape our digital landscape. Today, the modern computing landscape. Our journey through the history of personal computers brings us to the present day, a time of unparalleled innovation and unprecedented possibilities. Today's personal computers are powerhouses of performance and versatility, capable of handling complex tasks from creative work to scientific research. The lines between PCs, laptops, tablets, and smartphones continue to blur, as technology adapts to our diverse needs. Cloud services have become an integral part of our digital lives, allowing us to collaborate, store, and access information from virtually anywhere. Artificial intelligence is embedded in our devices, making personalized recommendations and enabling automation. Virtual reality transports us to immersive worlds, changing how we experience entertainment, training, and even therapy. As we stand at the forefront of the digital age, we're witnessing the convergence of technologies that were once science fiction. Join us as we embrace the ever-evolving world of personal computing, where the lines between reality and the virtual are becoming increasingly intertwined.